let's review how to prove the Pythagorean theorem. First thing I do is just start with the triangle. That's it. I'm making a triangle. From there, I'm going to draw a box around each side. Now, why is that? Because what I am doing is I'm going to end up proving a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label this side as a. And then this side I'm going to label as b. And this side, and I just ran out of room, I'm going to label as c. So I'm going to do the best I can at making the boxes. So from there, what I do is I reconfigure these shapes to make a square, two squares, and those squares are equal. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to draw two squares. Now, once again, this is just not precise because I'm drawing these freehand. But you could also draw these um, you know, using a ruler and scissors and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put A and B down in the box on the right. So let's say A is here and B is here. I'm sorry, other way around. This is A, A, this is B, this is B. I then take this triangle in the middle. And what I do is I make four triangles that are congruent to this triangle, meaning that they're the same. Then I take box C, and box C is going to be made by this. So watch what's going to happen. I'm going to make four of these triangles again. Four, triangle, 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 and triangle. So those triangles are coming from right here. And then this is going to be C. And let's see if I can make this a little more accurate. That's still bad. But what I'm doing is still creating two congruent squares. These entire squares are equal. Now, from there, what I do is I write an equation that represents the area for each one. So from here, let's use purple. Area. I'm going to write an equation for area. How do I get the area of this one right here? Well, what am I doing? I know that if I'm looking at the triangle, once again, look at this triangle right here. Triangle right here. That triangle has lengths of A and B. So we know that this is A, this is B, and so on. So how do I find the area of a triangle? I do one-half base times height. So one-half of base times height, which is A multiplied by B. Now, how many of those do I have? I have four of them. So I could add them all four times. But if they're each half, half base times height, plus half base times height, plus half base times height, plus half base times height, that's going to give me two AB. Because a half multiplied by four triangles is two. Then I add the area of the square, which is c squared, c times c. So over on the right side, I still have four triangles, 2ab. And then I add the area of each square, so that's plus a squared plus b squared. Now from there, I'm going to write an algebraic equation. So watch what's going to happen. I'm going to take this and go to the next screen. From there, I have two separate areas. And now what do I know about the areas? They're the exact same thing. The overall area is the exact same thing. So I can set these two things equal to each other. 2AB plus A squared plus B squared equals 2AB plus C squared. I can take this and plug it in right here for A because they're the exact same thing. Because they're the same area, I can set them equal to each other. Now, if there's this, I have four triangles in one and the same four triangles in the other. So if I take away or subtract the two ABs, which are the areas of the triangle, they're gone. 
And what I am left with is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And what you have done is you have, you have just proven the Pythagorean theorem.